Howdy folks, welcome back to another Band 66 Chevelle video. This is what happens when your uh, water freezes, just like it is right here. Anyway, I can't even move it, it's so froze. So, one way to do this, get yourself a hair dryer right here. So that's the only thing that sucks about living in a trailer is you got the problem with the freaking water lines freezing. Now I've already went ahead and I've, the water's been shut off. It's just with the, the water that was left in the line is what's froze. So I went ahead and pulled this off so it would drain out a little bit, but it still didn't freeze out. It didn't all drain out all the way. That's a cold my soap's froze. Damn. Dang. That's pretty bad. Anyway. Yep. We're going to take this hair dryer here and thaw this out. A lot of times it keeps freezing up under here. This valve right here, they freeze right in here. See, I got all this insulated. So I got to get up in here and uh, and do something about this. I'm going to have to get some insulation to run all the way on up. So this is uh, Tuesday uh, afternoon vlog here. And I've been... Trying to throw my freaking uh, kitchen sink out here. See, the reason it keeps freezing too is I have fuel oil and that stuff's expensive. So I can't afford to run it a lot. So that's what I gotta do. I'll just hold it right there on the uh, water line down there. Anybody got a torch? He saw it. 
Yep, she's solid. Glad to turn the water off. A little tip too. Now, if this was uh, copper, this stuff would have exploded by now. It would have done busted. This is PEX. And I still can't believe that no, this is cracked or busted yet. But we got lucky. And plus, the water was turned off anyway. So we're going to take our hair dryer here and keep heating it up, and hopefully, it'll uh, thaw out. The reason I'm heating this one up is this one's the one that always gives me trouble. It always freezes like from here to right here. This point right section right here always freezes on me. The other line doesn't really freeze that much. But we're going to try and get it uh, unthawed more. be thought out enough now because our valve is turning again. Let's see if we can turn our other one. Nope. So that one's froze as well. This is why I want a house. I get tired of this. See that drip? The drip just come out of there. what I want to do too is once I get this thawed out and I get I'm going to go to trip take a trip to Lowe's and we're going to get some heat tape here and we're going to wrap all this on up so this will quit freezing so I got all this wrapped I just should I need to come up from here and go all the way the rest of the way on up
Well, I'm gonna try to trip the laser and get some peak tape and wrap around it too, I think. stuff out you want to do it evenly too that's what I'm trying to do that's why you go back and forth like this so you keep the heat even so it thaws it out evenly Most is cold water. This one I got opened up pretty good. Usually the hot one freezes first. This time it is the cold one. I guess like it's frozen about ten times now. turn all the way but it's getting there hey, when you're doing this don't hold it too close this really won't hurt it too much but you gotta walk some packs down there it'll melt it
something else if you're having trouble too. I might get a little heater and sit in here to help blow the heat up to it. Let's see how our, uh, we got our furnace uh, turned on here. So we got that good, so we got that running. And maybe, uh, eh, eh, still froze. Maybe I gotta heat this up. Very solid. 